Hello, my name is Matt. Hopefully you've just seen a montage of some of the adventures that we've I've just had in, in the Isle of Mull. Um, but I'm just zooming back um, a few days. So it's Friday. Um, I'm heading off to the Isle of Mull this evening. We're driving through the night with myself and my dad. Um, and we're, we're in the Isle of Mull from Saturday through to Wednesday. For those that don't know, it's an island off the west coast of Scotland. It's incredibly famous for its wildlife, particularly the white-tailed eagles, which were reintroduced um, in the 1980s. Um, having been extinct in Britain, as well as famous for otters um, and you know any all the other wildlife that Scotland has to offer, particularly birds of prey. So we're hoping to find white-tailed eagles, as I mentioned, otters, as I mentioned, but also short-eared owls, hen harrier, golden eagle, and and you know many many other types of wildlife that we're looking to to encounter. So very excited to get started. I'm about to do my packing before jumping on a train to meet my dad, where we'll begin the journey. So um, I hope you enjoy and um, I'll catch you soon. So we've driven through the night. It's now 20 to seven. We set off about 20 past 11 last night. Um, I've, I had a good sleep, to be fair. I've slept for like three or four hours, all good. I've been driving since about 4 a.m. this morning. Um, we're north of Glasgow, about two hours from Oban. Where we're gonna stop for some breakfast before jumping on the ferry. So pretty tired, but all in all, good shift so far. The rush and stress of the journey was soon behind us as we settled into our island home for the next few days. It wasn't long before Mole's most famous residents made their first appearance. First 10 minutes, two white tailed eagles. We couldn't believe our luck and came across five eagles during our walk around Loch Bar. Golden eagles as well as white tailed eagles, and it was the perfect start to the trip. We got a few photographs of the eagles, albeit they were quite a distance away. Fortunately, we saw plenty of other wildlife, where we got some good photographs. And with that, we headed back onto the road towards our accommodation for the next few days. We were pretty tired at this point and looking forward to getting on a sofa, to be honest. You don't come across much traffic in Mull, but when you do, it can be a little slow. Today we were going to focus on otters. The weather was looking pretty poor, so we were going to spend some time in the car around three key locks. Lock Nakeel, Lock Scridden, and Lock Spelve. I'll save you some time. We didn't see much at all on Sunday. Not a single otter, not a single eagle, until about 4pm. However, it was stunning, and one of my favourite things is sitting in the natural world. Thank you. 
despite our best efforts, the most exciting thing we saw all day was a peacock. However, when we were on our way home, we had a really special moment. We witnessed a white-tailed eagle fly out from right in front of us, carrying its prey, clearly to take back to a nest. Sadly, it was a newborn lamb. The mortality rate for lambs are quite high and it's likely that this white-tailed eagle saw an opportunistic dinner. It was incredible to see such an amazing creature carrying its prey across the loch and into the distance. On Monday, we decided to hike out to Loch Freesa and spend our afternoon looking for otters. The day started well, having seen a buzzard devouring its prey, a sight you don't see too often. We saw nothing of note, but it was great to get out into the fresh air. And so it was back to otter watching for the afternoon, and despite some telltale signs of otters, we failed again. see morale was pretty low what salvaged the day was a very very far off sighting of an eagle nest with an eagle sitting on it which was pretty cool with one more day to go would we get our otter experience that we were hoping for we got up early and headed out would today be our day our last chance at finding and taking pictures of otters. in the water to the right. did it finally three otters played around us for around an hour and a half to two hours getting closer and closer as we lay still just taking photographs it was an incredible experience one that we'll both remember for a very long time and both got some good photographs as well with mole pretty much completed we decided to have a leisurely afternoon driving out to the coast to, to see the sites that we hadn't seen yet never in my life did i think i'd see a highland cow just chain on the beach. And just like that, the trip was over. Heading back on the ferry the next morning before a long drive home. I hope you enjoyed following our adventure and hopefully this is the first of many.